Have you ever wondered how many tiny plastic shards slip into your body before you finish breakfast? Picture shaving down a credit card and swallowing the shavings. That's roughly the mass of microplastics you now ingest each week. Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're uncovering how two humble kitchen staples, okra and fenugreek, can dramatically reduce that plastic load. Thanks, Ethan. I'm Alara Skye, and the headline is remarkable. Researchers at Tarleton State University showed that simple extracts from okra pods and fenugreek seeds removed up to 93% of microplastics from real groundwater, freshwater, and seawater. Even better, these natural solutions outperformed polyacrylamide, the synthetic chemical most plants use today, by nearly 40 percentage points. Let's start with why microplastics matter to you. These particles, smaller than five millimeters, behave like sponges for toxins, pesticides, heavy metals, industrial chemicals. Once you drink them, they cross cell membranes, damage gut lining, mimic hormones, and can even slip through your blood-brain barrier. Scientists now estimate you consume a credit card's worth every seven days. Exactly, and conventional water treatment systems weren't designed to trap something that small. Polyacrylamide helps, but still leaves nearly half the particles behind and introduces toxic residues of its own. That's why the researchers turned to plant polysaccharides, long sugar chains found in okra and fenugreek, to see if nature could do better. They ran what's called a jar test, right? It mimics a full-scale plant, but on a lab bench. They treated real samples, rivers, wells, coastal water, with one gram of extract per liter and let it sit for 60 minutes. Fenugreek alone captured up to 93% of microplastics. Okra peaked near 80% in seawater, and the 50-50 blend excelled in freshwater at 77%. Those numbers dwarf polyacrylamide's 54% under identical conditions. The key mechanism is bridging. The long-chain sugars wrap around plastic fragments like nets, clumping them until the clusters grow heavy enough to sink. Microscopy confirmed the physical trapping. And because the electrical charge on particles barely changed, researchers know the effect isn't chemical neutralization. It's pure, visible netting. Fenugreek's sugar chains have higher intrinsic viscosity and molecular weight than okra's, giving them extra reach to grab particles, especially polyvinyl chloride, one of the more toxic plastics. Okra's shorter, more flexible chains thrive in the denser salt environment of seawater, making each plant especially suited to different contexts. There's a bonus. Both extracts also lowered total dissolved solids and suspended solids, which means heavy metals and industrial pollutants settled out alongside the plastics. You're not only reducing plastic, but also stripping away the toxic chemicals that ride on those particles into your bloodstream. Listeners want practicality. One gram per liter and one hour of contact time. Those are manageable at household scale. Even a half-hour soak still removed around 70% of particles, which means you could treat a 10-liter bucket with just a teaspoon of powder and a little patience. And if you live with hard tap water, boiling it for five minutes already cuts microplastic levels by roughly 80%. Combining boiling with plant extracts and a fine cloth or paper filter gives you layered protection without industrial chemicals. Let's zoom out and cover other ways to shrink your exposure starting with drinking water. Install a reverse osmosis unit or a submicron carbon block filter rated for particles smaller than five microns. If you buy water on the go, pick glass bottles, never plastic. Kitchens contribute more than most people realize. Microwaving food in plastic containers leaches microplastics straight into meals. Store leftovers in glass, stainless steel, or ceramic. Switch plastic cutting boards for wood or tempered glass, and swap plastic utensils for bamboo or steel. Every prep step matters. Your wardrobe is another unsuspected source. Synthetic fabrics, polyester, acrylic, nylon, shed microfibers each wash. Transition toward natural fibers like cotton, wool, and linen. For synthetics you already own, wash them less often, choose cold cycles, and place them in a microfiber-catching laundry bag or install a washer filter. 
Personal care products hide plastics too. Many toothpastes, exfoliants, and cosmetics still contain plastic microbeads or petroleum-based emulsifiers. Scan ingredient lists and avoid polyethylene, polypropylene, or acrylates. If you wouldn't eat it, don't smear it on your skin. Circling back to the study, it's important that the water samples were genuine environmental sources, not purified lab water. That means these results translate directly to rivers, wells, and coastal communities dealing with mixed contaminant loads. And because okra and fenugreek are food grade, they pose no health hazard if a trace amount remains after treatment. Compare that with polyacrylamide, whose monomers linger and carry suspected long-term risks. Even handling the plant powders requires no special gloves or disposal protocols. Cost matters, too. Both crops are inexpensive and globally cultivated. A single kilogram of seed powder could treat about a thousand liters of water. For small communities, that's affordable clean water without a chemical footprint. Some listeners might worry about taste. The study reported no significant flavor changes. The polysaccharides settle out with the plastic, leaving the water you pour off clear, neutral, and safe to drink. Storage is the one caution. Once hydrated, the extract solution stays potent for about a week before microbes begin to grow. Make small batches or refrigerate them. Dry powder, however, stores for months in a sealed jar. Scaling up isn't complicated. Municipal plants could introduce a plant extract step ahead of existing filters. That would cut microplastic load and reduce synthetic chemical use, decreasing overall residue in the finished water. Let's distill today's insights into a challenge you can act on. Over the next seven days, choose one plastic reducing upgrade for your routine. Install a submicron filter, store tonight's dinner in a glass container, switch a polyester shirt for cotton, or try a small batch of okra extract to clarify a jug of tap water. Measure how simple the change feels and notice how many similar swaps suddenly look easy. With each decision, filtering smarter, cooking without plastic, wearing natural fibers, you cut the plastic trickle reaching your gut, hormones, and brain. Small habits compound, protecting both your health and the environment. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.